Good evening, everyone, and thank you for coming to my Thursday night yin yang yoga. I'm so excited to present a awesome sequence for you all this evening. Tonight, my intention for tonight's practice is to help you navigate your anticipation of what is going to happen next. Our lives have been in a standstill for so many weeks, and soon we will begin to change as we slowly make our way back to our own sense of normal, knowing that it may be a new normal and not the normal we all left behind. Let's keep our hearts and our minds open. I'm going to leave you with two quotes this week. I can look at the future with anticipation, and it's comforting to know that someday we'll be able to look back and have a little more clarity on why certain things in life happened. Amy Grant. Our worst fears lie in anticipation. Don Dreiger. At this time, I'd love to have everyone lie on their back on the mat as we start in our warm up. Everybody knows I like to start the way we end. So gently bring yourself on your back, taking it down, using the help of your forearms if you need to. Just allow your arms to fall to your side. Your feet can fall away from each other, allowing your body to just feel and go limp. At this time, please close your eyes and just allow your breath to start to take you into your place. Breathing in and out of your nose, one breath at a time. Allowing your shoulders and upper back to settle and melt into your mat. Allow your head to just surrender and let it all go. Notice the rise of your belly with each inhale and the fall of your belly with each exhale. Knowing that with each exhale, we are sending out anxiety, stress, and negativity, and all that no longer serves us. Just send it out the door. At this time, I would love to ask you to set an intention for your practice this evening. It could be something as simple as, I am safe, I am strong, I will embrace. But whatever that intention is, say it three times to yourself as if it's already happened. On your next inhale, draw your knees into your chest and just hug your knees below your kneecap. Give yourself some nice hug and if you practice, feel free to inhale as you lift your head towards your knees as if you'd like to give your knees a little kiss and just hold for two breaths. And then gently exhaling down very slowly, very mindfully. Taking your palms on your knees, the backs of your hands are facing your face. As you exhale, draw your legs and push them away from your body. And then as you inhale, open the knees to the side, drawing them in back over your chest. Exhale as we push away. Inhale as we circle in. And let's do three more. Exhale, push. Inhale, circle. 
and the last two using your own breath. And after that fifth one, just hold, take a pause. And now we're going to reverse the direction. As you inhale, we're drawing the knees in towards our chest. And as we exhale, we open the knees and we circle the knees out towards the front. Inhale as you draw in. Exhale as you open and circle. Inhale, draw in. Exhale, circle. And two more, again, using your own breath. And after that final one, just inhale, pause your knees over your chest, and then extend each leg long, one at a time, setting up for a crescent moon banana stretch. Walk your right foot out to the corner of your mat. Your left foot is going to follow right behind it. Inhale, your right arm up over your head. Left arm follows and allow your body to take that crescent stretch, feeling that stretch down the outside of your left side. And let's hold for about 10 seconds. Inhale as we bring the arms back in, legs come back through center, and let's get the other side. As we exhale, take the left heel over to the corner of the left side of the mat. Your right foot comes over right behind it. Your left arm is lifted. Your right arm reaches over, getting that beautiful crescent shape, like a crescent moon or a banana, feeling that side body stretch down the right side. That will hold for about 10 seconds. We're going to inhale, coming back through center. Take a breath, stretch your arms up over your head, point your toes, and then inhale, drawing your knees into your chest. Maybe a couple rocks side to side, massaging that low back and sacrum. And we're going to roll onto the right towards me to the front, resting your right ear on your right bicep. Let's take a breath here, inhale. And exhale. Using that top arm, your left arm, gently push off the mat. Coming up to seated, and I'll take you through a nice gentle seated sequence. Bringing your legs together in what we call easy seat. And I always love to do those shoulder rolls and loosen the shoulders and your neck. So, as you take an inhale, lift the shoulders up. And as you exhale, roll the shoulders back and away. Inhale, lift. Exhale, back. Inhale, lift. And exhale, back. Final two, using your own breath at your own speed. After that fifth one, just stop for a moment, take a pause. And let's reverse the direction. As you inhale, lift those shoulders up. And as you exhale, draw the shoulders forward and away. Inhale, lift. Exhale, drawing forward. Inhale, lift. Exhale, drawing forward. And final two, using your own breath, your own speed. and pause. Send your arms out with your palms facing down. We're going to do some wrist flexation and extensions. So as you inhale, lift your wrists up, pointing your palms towards me. As you exhale, fingers point down. Inhale as you flex. Exhale to extend. Inhale up, exhale down. Let's do this two more times.
bringing your palms, making a fist with your hands. We're going to do some circling. So let's just circle the wrist about five times and then reverse the direction. Returning your palms to the tops of your knees. Take an inhale. Your right arm lifts high, reaching over to your left ear. And as you exhale, gently take a nice stretch down the right side of your neck. Inhale, lift your right arm up. As you exhale, returning the right palm to your knee. As you inhale, that left arm lifts. Reach it over to your right ear. And as you exhale, take a nice side stretch to the left. Breathing in and out of your nose. And then inhale, left arm reaches high. Exhale, returning your left palm to your left knee. Now just take a nice gentle twist, taking your right arm on your left knee, taking your left hand behind, palms down, fingers are facing back. As you inhale, gently lift your chest, and as you exhale, take the gaze gently over your top shoulder. And if you'd like, you can take your left arm and wrap it behind to your opposite hip for another option. Take an inhale, lift, exhale, turn. And with an inhale, bring your gaze back through front, bringing your palms back to your knees. And let's get the other side. Taking that left palm to your right knee, allow the right hand to go behind, palms are down, fingers face out. As you inhale, lift, and as you exhale, Take the gaze over your top shoulder. And again, if you'd like to wrap, you can take that right arm behind your back to your opposite hip. Inhale, lift. Exhale, turn. As you inhale, come back. Forward, eyes forward, bringing your palms to your knees. Seated cat cow. As you take an inhale, we're going to draw the navel out. The back is going to arch, chest opens, eye gaze up. And for your cat, as you exhale, draw the belly and draw the navel towards your spine, your back rounds. Inhale, coming forward through your cow. Exhale, drawing back for your seated cat. And now just move and breathe, breathe and move back and forth between the two, making this your own warm up using your breath. One more each side, and we will stop in the middle in neutral. Extend both of your legs long. We're going to do some flexing and extending with the knees. Bring the right foot in, plant the bottom of the right foot on the mat. Bring your hands down to the mat on either side. As you exhale, extend. Extend your right leg out, flex the toes towards your face. Inhale, drawing the knee back in. Exhale, extending the right foot. Inhale, drawing back in. Exhale, extend, let's hold this. Inhale, back in. And extend that right leg long. Let's get the other side. 
Drawing the left foot in, planting the left foot inside the right thigh. Plant the hands on either side. Fingers face forward. As we exhale, we're gonna extend the left leg, flexing the toes. Inhale, drawing it back in. Exhale, extending. Inhale, flexing. Last one, exhale, extend and hold. Inhale, bringing that knee back in, sending your left leg long. Take your biceps to your ears. We'll do a quick forward fold as you inhale, lift and open your chest. And as you exhale, just gently allow your body to fold forward where it's comfortable. With each exhale, drawing a little closer to your knees. And as you inhale, allow your hands to gently come up your knees, crossing your legs and coming to standing as we get into some balance. With your feet together, that hip width apart, extend your arms out wide to the side, your palms are facing the floor. As you inhale, lift your right leg coming in at 90 degrees. Inhale, flip the palms, drawing your biceps to your ears. We're going to exhale into warrior three. On the exhale, we're going to gently lower the body down like we're folding, touching down if you need to. Extending that leg out behind you, reaching for the wall in front of you. If you need a little bend in your front standing knee, feel free. Inhale, arms back up. Now as you exhale, take the knee out to the side. Inhale the knee back forward. Exhale as you release your hands to your side. Returning your right foot to the mat. Take an inhale and an exhale. And let's get the other side. As we inhale, send those arms out to the side. Palms are facing down. We're going to lift the left knee in front of us at 90 degrees. Flip the palms. Inhale, drawing your arms up over your head. And as we exhale, extending the left leg behind, drawing forward, coming into your warrior three. A bend in the front knee is fine. Reach. Inhale, back to the knee at 90. And if you'd like, you can take that knee out to the side, touching down if you need to. Inhaling it back through center. Exhaling, returning your leg and your arms to your side. Eagle pose. As you exhale, we're gonna come down. Knees are together. Take that right foot. We're gonna step it over the left foot. Now your right toe can be touching, it can be lifted, or you can wrap it behind your calf, wherever you are. Your right arm comes underneath your left arm for your eagle arms, palms are together, elbows are straight and stacked. Back is straight, draw your shoulders from your ears. Take an exhale as you unbind. Draw that right foot back. Arms to your side in your mountain pose. 
Eagle pose on the other side. As you exhale, we're gonna take a bend, lift that left leg over the right leg, taking your eagle pose where it's comfortable for you. Toe touching if your eagle likes to land. Toe can be up or you can wrap it behind. For me, I like my eagle to be touching. Take your left arm underneath your right arm for your eagle arms, palms together, backs of hands together, or you can crisscross on opposite ends of your shoulder, whatever's comfortable for you. Keeping your back straight, taking a little bend in that standing knee, rolling your elbows down, eye gazes forward. Take an exhale as you gently unbind, returning the left leg to your side. Let's take a nice inhale to roll the arms up over the head. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, allow those arms to rise high over your head. Exhale your hands to your side. And let's set up for a nice standing strength, building strength in our legs. So take your feet wider than your hips. Your right toe is gonna to point to the right side of the room as you exhale down into that front knee. Your back foot, your left toes are facing the front towards me. 90 in your front knee. Knee is tracing over the arch. As you exhale, extend those arms out wide. Your shoulders and your hips are stacked. Your front knee is externally rotated. Your eye gaze, your drishti, is gonna be down your front arm, right to your middle finger. We're gonna hold this beautiful, majestic pose. With an exhale, see if you can maybe sink a little lower. As you exhale, we're going to reach, reach, reach. Side angle, right arm on your thigh, left arm up high. Turn your chest towards the front. Eye gazes up under your left arm. Triangle, as you exhale, straighten that front leg. Right palm is down near your right ankle. As you inhale, left arm reaches high to the sky. As you inhale, reverse the triangle. Keep your front leg nice and straight. Left arm back, right arm up high to the sky. Exhaling back down into your warrior two. Eye gaze down that front arm. And let's do that flow again. Exhale, reach, reach, reach for your side angle. Left arm up high, turning the chest towards me. Eye gaze up. Take an exhale as you breathe into your triangle, straightening that front knee. Right hand down at your ankle. Eye gaze can be down. Eye gaze can be neutral. You can turn that eye gaze straight up. Reversing that triangle, keeping that front knee nice and straight. Left arm back, right arm up. Back. Exhaling back down into your warrior two. <laughs> Straightening that front knee, point your right toe forward, left toe points to the side. As you exhale, we're going to sink down into your warrior two for the left side. Again, your shoulders and hips are stacked to the front. Our goal was for a 90 between your ankle, knee, and your hip. Knee should be tracing over the arch. 
Draw your shoulders from your ears, draw that belly in, and take your eye gaze, your drishti, down your left arm, right down the middle finger. Externally rotating that front knee. And hold this beautiful, majestic pose. And we're going to float as you exhale. Reach, reach, reach for your side angle. Left arm on your thigh. Right arm lifts high. Look for that beautiful line between the top of your finger all the way down to the back end of your back foot. Triangle. Exhale as you breathe down to your triangle. Left hand is at your ankle. Right arm is up. Eye gaze where it's comfortable, down, out at me, or straight up, looking at your thumb. Take an inhale as we reverse the triangle. Keep that front leg straight. Right arm back, left arm up high. And as you exhale, Sinking down into that front knee, back to your warrior two, where we hold. And we flow again. Exhale, reach, reach, reach. Left arm on your thigh, right arm up high. Turning the chest to the front. Straightening that front knee, breathing into your triangle. Feel the lengthening in your spine, taking your eye gaze to where it's comfortable, getting a beautiful straight line between your fingers. Reversing the triangle, opening back, keeping that front leg nice and straight. Exhaling as we sink back into our warrior two. Straightening that left knee, both legs, toes to the front. Pigeon toe your toes in for a nice big wide leg forward fold. As we exhale, the belly draws, chest lifts following down, touching down to where it's comfortable for you. Allow your head to just hang, releasing everything. If it's in your practice and you would like to try this, you can circle your arms behind, bind your hands together, and you can lift your arms up, over your back, but only if it's in your practice. I like to offer different levels. If you're bound, release your hands to the back of your hips, and then bring your hands back to the front. And just allow your head, take a peek through your legs, seeing the world upside down. Now to release and come up, options, palms on your thighs, hands on your hips. You can take a little bend in your knees or arms out to the side, just gently drawing up, nice and slow and nice and easy. Turning your toes out. Everybody knows I love the goddess pose. Bring your hands out to goal post. And as you exhale, just sink down into your goddess. And we're just gonna hold here. And if you'd like, lift up off your right heel. Exhale down. Inhale as you lift up off your left heel. Exhale down. Let's try both. Take an inhale, lift, building strength in the ankles. Exhale down. Inhale your hands out nice and straight, drawing the knees in and gently heel toe your feet back in nice and easy. Bring your arms down to your side. 
Now we're going to come to a seat. We're going to work on some back and core work. So extend your legs long. We're going to do reverse table. Bring your hands behind you. Fingers are facing out. Palms are down. Bring the right sole of the foot inside the left foot. The knee is pointing up. As you inhale, we're going to lift the hips for standing tabletop. Keep your head neutral. You don't want to hang or drop it like this. Keep your head neutral. Eye gaze is up. Take an inhale, lift a little higher. And as you exhale, we're going to lower down. Extend that right leg long. Take an inhale, biceps to the ears, and gently take a forward fold as we counter what we just did. Drawing your head towards your knees, allowing each out breath to get us a little closer to one day kissing our knees. You have to have a goal. One more breath. And then as you inhale, just allow your palms to gently graze up your legs and we'll get the other side. Drawing that left foot in, planting the sole of your foot inside your right thigh. Your left knee is up, sending your hands behind, palms are down, fingers are out. Reverse table on the other side. So as you inhale, press your sole of your foot into the mat as you lift your body, almost trying to be a tabletop, like you want to serve a cup of coffee off yourself. As you inhale, lift those hips a little higher so they don't droop. Eye gaze is neutral, neck is neutral. And then gently exhaling down, sending the left leg forward. Another forward fold to counter. So as you inhale, bring the biceps to the ears, draw the belly in with an elongated spine, gently folding forward, slow but sure, making our way back to our knees. Inhale and exhale. And then gently on the inhale, just allowing the palms to graze up. I'm going to take you into a half bow pose this evening, which is another great move for your back, another great pose. So I want you to come down on your belly, please. Extend, and we're only going to do bow pose. We're doing it half because we're just doing one side at a time. I like to work into things very carefully. So extending your right arm forward, reach your left hand back to the inside of your left foot. Your right leg is flattened and unfurled on the mat. As you inhale, you're just gonna lift from your heart and lift and grab your left foot, lifting it, eye gaze is forward. And if you're comfortable here, you can lift that right arm only if you're comfortable or you can stay here. Lifting from your heart, using the muscles in your lower back. Take an inhale, lift a little higher, and then gently exhale down, lowering your left foot, and stack your palms. Let's just take a little 10 second break in between sides. Flatten your feet. Palms are stacked, allow your forehead to touch down on your palms. Take an inhale as you lift up and we'll get the other side. That left arm extends long, bending the right knee, your heel towards your glute, reaching back to the inside of your right foot. Eye gaze is forward. As you take an inhale, you're going to lift from your heart, lifting your right leg. And if it's in your practice and you're feeling it, 
You can lift your left arm, but I want you to be where you're comfortable. Take an inhale, lift a little higher. And then gently lowering down, flattening that right foot, stacking the palms for another 10 seconds. Take an inhale as you bring your shoulders, your palms onto your shoulders, pushing yourself up into a quick tabletop. If you'd like to use a knee pad here, I'm going to use a knee pad itself. We're setting up for a quick plank. Plank can be on your knees or on your toes. I will be staying on my knees, but if you want to be up on your toes, you curl the toes. Lowering down, eye gazes down, as if you're pushing the mat away. I'm going to stay plank on the knees. Let's hold for about, let's hold for about 10 seconds. And now we're going to do six plank push-ups, either on your knees, or up on your toes. Only do as many as you can. If you only do two or three, it's perfectly fine. So as you exhale, we're gonna lower down, elbows to the back, inhale as we push up. And let's try to do five more. Two. Three. Four. Last one, five. And then tuck your toes. And let's just lift into a down dog. Lifting those hips high to the sky. Elbows are engaged, knees are engaged. Drawing your belly and chest towards the mat. And feel free to walk your dog. Bending one knee, straightening the other. Maybe inhale both heels up both heels down. Inhale, both heels up. Exhale, both heels down. Let's hold your dog. This is a great, believe it or not, down dog is known as a resting place. Take an inhale as you gently lift up off the heels, bringing your knees back to the mat back to your tabletop. And we're going to set up for rabbit pose, which is good for your shoulders. Keep your toes tucked. Then I want you to exhale as you lower your head down to the mat. I want you to reach back to your heels, grabbing the outside of your heels while pulling on your heels, press your shoulder blades forward, creating an opening in your shoulder blades. And we're going to hold. We call this rabbit pose. Take an inhale, bringing your palms underneath your shoulders, pushing your body up. Guys did a great job with rabbit pose. I'm going to remove my knee pad as we set up for lizard pose as we work the hips. As you take an exhale, bring the right foot forward to the outside of the mat. Your hands are going to be inside of your right foot. You are on your left knee, nice and gentle. This is level one for your lizard pose. And if this is where you stay, then this is where you stay. I do have other options. Option two, you can exhale down onto your forearms, rolling out on the outside of your right foot, but only if it's comfortable. Eye gaze is forward. This is a great hip opener. 
Level three, tuck your toes, lift up off of your left knee. Breathing in and out of your nose. If your knee is up, exhale down and to your left knee. If you're on your forearms, inhale back up to your palms and gently return your right knee to tabletop. And let's just take a quick breath here. Inhale, exhale. And let's get lizard on the other side. Again, we exhale bringing that left foot to the outside of the left mat, even if you have to heel toe your foot out. Hands are on the inside. As we gently come down on the right knee, unfurling and flattening the right foot. Again, level one. If this is your lizard, this is where your lizard stays. For those who may have a little more experience and are ready to take it, you can exhale down to your forearms, rolling out on your left side of your left foot. Eye gazes forward. And if you'd like to take it one more, curl your toes, lift up off of your right foot, breathing in and out of your nose. One more breath. If you're up on your toes, exhale back to your knee. If you're on your forearms, back to your palms, and then you exhale your left knee back under your hip for your tabletop. And we're gonna thread the needle. As you inhale, your left arm lifts high to the sky, and as you exhale, you're gonna thread it through to the right, to the front, towards me, lowering down on your left ear. Your right hand can stay right where it is under your shoulder, you can extend it long in front, or you can wrap it to your opposite hip. And we'll hold this for about 20 seconds. Returning your right palm underneath of your shoulder, Take an inhale, left arm lifts high, exhale back to your tabletop, and let's get the other side. Take an inhale, that right arm lifts high, and as you exhale, you're gonna thread it through to the left away, lowering down on your left ear, taking that left palm in front, Extend the arm, or you can wrap it to your opposite hip, keeping the weight on the front part of your threaded arm to about 20 seconds. Returning your left palm under your shoulder. Take an inhale as you send your right arm up high. Returning it underneath for your tabletop. Now we're going to cross our legs. Have a seat behind our heels. Bringing the glutes forward. Bring the soles of your feet together for a reclining bound angle. Take your hands to either side, gently lowering back. Nice and slow, nice and easy. Knees are out. Allow your arms to extend over your head, crossing them over opposite palm and opposite elbow. And just close your eyes. Just letting everything go here.
Switch your arms over your head so you're always in the balance. And then gently releasing your arms with the exhale, using your palms, drawing your knees together, drawing your knees into your chest. Give your knees a nice hug below the kneecap. And if you'd like to lift your head to give your knees another kiss, if it's in your practice, feel free. Exhaling back down very gently. Bring your arms out to goal post for a nice supine twist. As you exhale, just draw your knees towards the front, towards me to the right. Your knees are stacked. If you want a little more intense, you can draw the knees higher towards your underarm, or you can leave them at 90. Your head can be neutral, or you can lift and turn away for a little more intense twist. Just breathing in and out of your nose neutralizing the spine. Inhaling your head back to neutral if you turn, drawing the knees back in over your chest. We're gonna exhale and take the knees away to the left the opposite way, the options, you can draw the knees up close to your, closer to your underarms. You can lift, turn away. Then you can inhale your head back to neutral drawing your knees back in over your chest. One last move before Shavasana, happy baby. Send the soles of your feet towards the mat. Take your hand on the inside or the outside and just gently open your legs. And just allow everything to go. Lower back and sacrum on the mat. If you need to, you can bring your hands underneath of your knees, wherever it's comfortable. And if you want, you can even rock a little bit side to side, if that feels good. And then you can stop in the middle. Using your hands, draw your feet back together, draw your knees together, extending your legs one at a time for your final Shavasana. Arms at your side, feet out, and just let yourself go. If you have a pillow or a blanket, you can put it under your head. If you have an eye pillow or a washcloth, you could always use that here too. Allow your body to settle into your mat and make sure your eyes are closed. This is the gift that I give you at the end of each practice is your meditation, Shavasana time. It's kind of like the icing on the cake. Just use your breath to surrender to your mat. Surrender the day and let everything go that no longer serves you. Relax into your forehead. Allow your jaw to relax. Take a swallow. Relax your throat and your tongue. Deep inhales and exhales. If you'd like, you can place your hands on your belly as you feel the inhales and exhales. You may find comfort in that. But wherever you are, just allow yourself to stay in that special sacred place where no one can touch you. And now I'm gonna give you a few minutes of private meditation time, and I will come back to bring you out shortly.
Start to take a nice deep inhale in and out through your nose. And we'll start the very gentle reawakening process. This is something we don't want to rush. As you start to become aware of your surroundings, of your body, take a body scan, see how you feel from when you started to how you feel now. Bring some gentle movements into your fingers. Bring some gentle movements into your toes. Feel free to rotate your wrists and your ankles counter and clockwise so you always remain in the balance while using your breath in and out of your nose. Take an inhale as you draw your arms up over your head. Point your fingers, point your toes, giving your body that first morning stretch. We do it each and every morning when we just don't want to get out of that comfortable bed. And then as you inhale, draw your knees into your chest, grabbing your kneecaps, hugging them below your knees, and gently rocking side to side as you gently massage your lower back, your sacrum, saying thanks to those beautiful body parts. They really appreciate when you give them some TLC. They work hard for us all day. And then on your next exhale, just gently roll to your right away from your heart, allowing your right ear to rest on your right bicep. That is your built-in pillow, always there whenever you need it. And then take an inhale through your nose, sigh it out of your mouth. <sighs> take an inhale and sigh it out. <sighs> Nobody can hear you. So inhale and sigh it out. Ah. Using your top arm, your left arm, gently push yourself up, making yourself to a seated, easy cross-legged position where it's most comfortable for you and keeping your eyes closed for final words. It has been my pleasure and my pure gratitude to share space with you this evening and share my gifts with you as we get ready to engage in things that are going to be unknown to us with anticipation. And I hope I helped you just be able to navigate some of that anticipation just a little bit easier. Bring your hands to heart center, palms together, and allow your thumbs to touch your heart the light in me honors and cherishes the light in you. And thank you all for coming to the virtual class tonight. I greatly appreciate it. Namaste, everyone. Bow your head and honor your practice as always.